Hey, what's up, guys? Systematic Psycho here, and we are back with another editor tutorial. And just a couple things I want to get out the way is I appreciate a lot of you guys subbing. I've been getting quite a few subs just since I started this uh this uh, editor tutorial thing, and um, you know, really, really uh keeps me going, guys. So I, I appreciate that. And uh, but anyway, so enough enough of that that sad gushy mushy shit. Uh, we're going to talk about waypoints and we're gonna get it to markers and that's those are pre it's pretty simple stuff not a whole lot of learning but I want to get into some practical use of some of the stuff that I've taught you guys so far so hopefully by the end of this we'll be making just a little mission just something to uh, just to something just to kind of show you guys how you would apply some of the stuff that I've taught you so anyway first thing with the waypoint is uh, let's place a group first so you can I can really demonstrate how the waypoints work. Uh, where, where's some idea? Let's just let's just go to where I usually go. Just where's Sparta? Where's it? Yeah, there's Sparta. The Spartan. Here we go. So I'm just gonna place a group. Uh, blue four rifle squad. Sure, just a big group. And then I'm just gonna place me down just so you can see. Okay, I don't want to be in that group. So, okay, there we go. Now we have a group down. I will select the waypoints tool. I will click the squad leader. And uh, so wherever I want him to go, essentially, I will just double click. So say I want him to go to right here. Um, the category, whoa. Okay, a lot of this stuff's, I guess, still not finished. Obviously, it's alpha. Uh, select waypoint type. So th here's the different waypoint types. Move, move straight to it. If you set it as destroy, I think if you can you can set it on a building or vehicle and they will try to destroy that vehicle. Get in if you set it on a vehicle or a building, they will get in the vehicle or building. Seek and destroy. Uh, they will look for and kill any enemy in that area that you select. Join. I'm pretty sure if you pick join, they will join a specific group that you target. Uh, join and lead. They will join and lead that group that you target. Get out if they're already in a vehicle. They will get out. Cycle is basically, uh, I'll, actually, I'll show you that one. Load, I'm not 100% sure what load does, but I, I think it might load up people. I'm not 100% sure. Unload, unloads people. And the transport unload, I know it gets everybody, uh, as far as who's, whoever's being transported, they uh, get out of the vehicle. Hold, they hold the area. Sentry, they, they, they uh, patrol the area. Guard, they guard the area. I think talk. I'm not 100% sure, but I think these are kind of like that's work in progress. I'm not sure if those are in the last arm. I didn't really pay attention to it. But um, if I'm going to guess anything, it's talk to other AI. I'm, I'm not sure, like exchange information from what they've seen or something like that. Or I have no idea. Support. I think that supports a group. Get in nearest. Gets in the nearest building or vehicle. And dismissed. I think that dismisses them from all waypoints or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's that's the waypoint type. Waypoint order. That's once you get multiple waypoints, you can switch up the order. Placement radius. Um, this will be the radius that it's placed in. So if I if I pick ten, it'll be uh, placed within ten meters of of wherever. And then um, completion radius. If I did this two meters, you have about a two meter uh, area to walk into to complete that. Height's a new feature as far as armor three. Um, that's just the just the height of where the waypoints place. Time out. That's how much time they're gonna take at the waypoint. So the minimum I would set if I wanted it to be like if I wanted them to go to that waypoint and sit there for 30 seconds, I would type in 30, 30, and 30. To randomize it, I could go 15, 20, and 30. So 20 is gonna be the more average time, and then 30 is gonna be the highest. 15 is gonna be the lowest. You can name the waypoint, description, don't really need that. The combat mode, this is pretty self-explanatory, this is they'll never fire, they'll hold fire, they'll hold fire and engage at will, I'm not 100% sure how that works, but I think the, uh, I think the, the troops will hold fire, but unless giving the order by their, uh, their commander. Uh, open fire, and open fire engage at will, not 100% uh, sure the difference there, but yeah. So this is the different column types, or formation types. Uh, column is just a, a straight like a column of like people coming straight towards you a line would be like like a like a you know when you're at school and you're in a line with all the kids 
Remember that, like elementary school? Yeah, staggered column. I think that's uh, a little bit closer. I might be getting them mixed up, but you'd have to check them out. Wedge is a wedge. Echelon L and Echelon R, right and left. You just have to check them out. I don't want to explain all these. Um, speed, speed limited. I usually do limited because that'll make them walk to the waypoint. Normal, they'll jog full. They'll move full speed to the waypoint as fast as they can go. Behavior, careless is basically they do not pay anything, no mind. Even if you're an enemy and you walk right by them, they will pay you no mind. It's pretty funny. Safe, I think they kind of, you know, they check the area out every once in a while. They're kind of cautious, but it's not really a big deal. They're just pretty much walking. Aware, they think that there's a, there's a presence of enemy, but they're not totally affected by it, but they're checking around for the enemy. Combat, they're moving from cover to cover and checking their surroundings constantly. Stealth, I think they'll even send in a... Uh, an AI out in front to see if he gets shot at, kind of like a decoy. And uh, yeah, just they, they're, they're real stealth, stealthy. So um, condition, and this is all scripting stuff that you're probably not gonna need. Uh, combat mode, I'm just gonna leave them, I guess I'm not gonna worry about that. Formation, just to kind of show you, I'll do line, speed, uh, limited, so you can see. Actually, I'll do normal, behavior, just leave that at no change. And then we'll just have a, we'll have a move waypoint. So as you can see, completion radius of 2 and a placement radius of 10. So it'll be placed anywhere in that area. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit preview. And we will see how they move to this waypoint. <sighs> Freaking mug root beer. It's the bomb. There's like a lot of different kinds of root beers. This is a dumb conversation, but... uh. I, I think I think the best one is IBC. Like compared to whoa, hi. So yeah, okay, this is line. My frame rate is like hold on let me let me get okay there we go. Frame rate's better. So here here, what's the line formation? Is it Okay, okay, it's like a wall. Okay, column I think is like an actual line like when you're at school and you're following the kid behind you or whatever. But yeah, we'll watch them move to their waypoint. And if I set me a waypoint, it'll just pop up on my screen and be like, hey, go here. So, let's just follow these guys until they get to their waypoint, and I'll just show you. Why did I make him go out? Okay, I made him go right to there. So they'll move. They'll move, and they'll just go, and they will stop as soon as they get there. Should be almost there. Yep, so they just got there, and they stop, and they wait. So, no big deal. Watch! Check your goddamn fire! So we'll just go ahead and uh, abort, and go back to the uh, main screen. And then, uh, just a real quick one, this, is, this shouldn't take too long, is markers. And is what markers basically do. Uh, they have other uses besides being markers. Like, uh, if you wanted to do a respawn, you'd have to do something in the the initial uh, the mission file, and you have to create a file a description .ext and type in a bunch of stuff. I'm probably confusing you right now. And then you would type in a respawn underscore west. And then once you add that thing in your mission editor, and if you have respawn west, everybody of friendly forces will. Um, will respawn there respawn west but um yeah so don't worry about that i don't even know why i told you guys that so you double click you place the icon you name it whatever you want it doesn't matter what you name it you could name it uh tappy i guess it doesn't really matter as long as they have a different name for each uh, marker that you put the text is actually what's going to show up in on the marker so you would just put like base if you're created a base or something and then um you could, uh, let's just go over the different kinds of icons. So here's a, okay, yep, so here's icons. You can pick what you want. So if I just did something for a base, if I just did, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's just do this. That's base, and you can pick the color. Well, I have a lot more colors now. Let's do pink, because I'm a badass. So that'll pop up, and then that's what it'll look like when you open up your map. And there's another kind you can do. You can do the rectangle or ellipse. So the same thing, but just one's a circle and one's a rectangle. So if I change this to 50, and we'll just, so we can see the difference, 30, um, the circle, and then 
you can do grid and you can choose color red. And I don't think any text pops up in these, so we'll just call this one. And we'll put the text as uh, enemy area or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, so no text actually pops up. Let's see, you can see that this is one. And then, um, so yeah, you can you can like highlight different areas. If you, if you want to say the base is in this area, you'd have that as base. Probably wouldn't do pink because it didn't show up too well in there. Um, but yeah, so that's how, that's basically what that is. Markers are really useful in the map for just marking stuff. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and try to script a little mission here. Nothing fancy, just to kind of show you how you would, you know, pretty much put this stuff to use. So is what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, we're going to place a few enemies just around here and just uh, make a little squad or something. So double click and we will go to, actually let's place us first so we don't keep getting that uh, that, that uh, message. So we'll make us the squad leader. And so none of that other stuff really matters. So we'll go ahead and uh, then place me right, right about here. That seems about a safe distance away. And then we'll go ahead and give me uh, me and my squad mates, which I would like, I guess, a rifleman and a medic. I'll make sure I'm a decent rank here, just in case anything gets mixed up. Um, and then we will do grenadier. Sounds about right. So four-man squad. And then is what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I guess I'll create the enemies first before I do anything with waypoints. Uh, to make this simple, we'll just place a group. But we will place a um, hop four group. Uh, weapon squad, actually let's do a fire team. Place those guys. And uh, then what we'll do is we'll place a empty vehicle just to kind of make it seem like they're all out of their vehicle and patrolling the area or something like that so there you go there's their vehicle and then I think that's the front right there so it's gonna be facing like you can go up that way select like the waypoints tool double click we want them to move there at oh, it's move I guess and then speed limited and that's all I'm gonna mess with right there so they're gonna walk to there, and then they're gonna walk over here. So no change, since it's limited there and there's no change here, then it's gonna stay limited unless I wanted to change it to normal. I'd have them go to normal. I think defaultly it's on normal, but I'm not gonna mess with that. So I'd, I'd create a move one there, and then I want them to maybe go down here and just create another one. But actually, I would make this one cycle what it gets by cycle is it'll it'll automatically cycle back to the nearest waypoint or uh, start point so they're gonna just cycle around they're gonna walk in this infinite loop until uh, I break that loop by attacking them um, okay so we got that and then we'll just place like a like an HVT will be our, our, our target here uh, where are we men okay there we go and then uh can we do for an HVT helicopter pilot? There we go. Um, and then we'll just do something just to so we can identify this guy's remove. This is really not gonna pertain to you. It's, it's a weapon. Yeah, weapons. This. If you want to um, create somebody without any weapons, this that's what you would type in in the initialization. But this is just for my sake. Probably shouldn't do that, but here we go. So helicopter pilot there, group of people there walking around, and then let's see, is that a click away? Yeah, I might want to move them guys a little bit closer here, so I just highlight them all, just move them a little bit closer right there, and then so they they're set up. There's an HVT there. I'm gonna go ahead and place a marker, and then I would just you know HVT, and then I just uh, for a marker I would use. So just do red objective right there. So HPT. That's gonna pop up on the map. And then uh, let's see what can I do here. 
I will set a waypoint for me so I know where to go. Double click. It's just gonna be. Oh, that's a trigger. Oops, my bad. So double click over here. Move. And then that's really gonna be it because I'm, I'm gonna be controlling the speed of my squad because I'm walking for myself. Uh, let me make sure these guys aren't stupid hard to kill because. I suck, so I don't want this to be that bad for me. Skill, I'm just gonna drop these guys down. Because AI is a lot smarter in this game, so. They're kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. Alright, so that seems alright. So now we're gonna go ahead and preview this. I'm gonna spawn up there. We will walk down and we will attack these guys. So, hopefully, hopefully I don't get ruined. That would be awesome. Okay, just gotta spin around, make sure everything like, renders in real quick. So, okay, so real quick, so I can show you guys. We spawned right here. There's my marker that I put up. And, uh, you can kind of see the waypoint through the, uh, the mountain. Where, where is it at? Yeah, right there. Move. Oh, it kind of disappears. See the left side of my screen? 27 meters. Okay, my squad that I spawned in. I'm just gonna move up this hill, advance on the enemy. Yeah, I'm gonna actually tell these guys to. Oops, what did I just do there? Game's been acting a little bit buggy for me, obviously, to be expected. Uh, uh, alpha, so you can't really see. Wow, I can't even tell what I'm telling them to do there. That's okay. Well, just have to free ball. Okay, yep, I see the enemy out there. There's an enemy, soldier. 300 meters, 12 o'clock. Got That's a visual. in it out. Hold on, I'm sorry. <laughs> that even just scared me. Um, audio. Maybe? Okay. Machine gunner, 300 meters, bearing one, nine, or five. So you can see the HVT right there, right? I've got it. There we go. Fight one. So now we're gonna pursue the HVT. We're gonna kill him, and then I'm gonna manually end the game. Uh, you probably don't want to watch the uh, the next episode if you want to figure out how to end the game without uh, have to end it yourself. But um, I think the next episode I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit about triggers and what I know so far about modules on this uh, on this armor. Because, of course, a lot of stuff got changed over as far as Arma 2 to Arma 3. But the basic core editing is still there. So, at least, because uh, I was hoping all that knowledge didn't go to waste. Because Arma, Arma 2, just the Arma editor in general, is a lot to take in. And the stuff that I'm showing you right now, guys, is really just the basics. Believe me when I say that. It's when you get into scripting and advanced scripting and all that stuff, if I uh, make videos on that, you will be mindfucked so fast. So, that's going to be a delicate subject for right now. I'm gonna, gonna find this guy. I don't know where he went. He just ran. He disappeared, man. Contact soldier. Did I miss him? Oh wow! Look at this guy. Okay, that was <laughs> freaking stealthy little guy, isn't he? Alright guys, well, <laughs> if you like this video, like it. If you uh, want to ask me something or anything in particular, just comment and sub if you want to see some more of this stuff, guys. Anyway, peace out.